I genuinely never thought this day would come where I would have to make a video like this. Um, these are sad times, my friends. These are sad times when someone like myself needs to take time out of his day because of these exit camping penises in order to give some advice to those of you that are struggling against the exit camping plague that is scouring the lands of Tarkov right now from customs to shoreline, from factory to reserve. It's hitting us all. It's hitting us all hard. I will say, it's hitting the guys in NA harder. I've noticed this to be definitely more of a thing on the NA servers than on the EU servers. You see, in EU, we have to deal with the bush campers, okay? So, NA now has the cheaters and they have the extra campers. And EU only really has to deal with the bush campers. So, I don't really know if that's like an even trade-off or not. But, you know, it is what it is. This is this is just what we're looking at in, in, in the current times, okay? So, what are we going to do today? We're going to talk about exit campers. We're going to talk about how to counter them. We're going to talk about how small their dicks are. And um, hopefully I'm going to give you guys some advice on how to counter them and not get killed by them as much and maybe show you guys a couple of spots and a couple of examples of how you can decrease the amount you're being killed by these guys and uh kill them back take their things then leave and make them very sad for wasting 40 minutes of their life waiting for you to leave the raid so let's get into it so first of all the main thing we need to talk about is you gotta you gotta think of the mindset here okay of the exit camper right so so the the exit camper generally a basement dweller okay living off uh you know crumbs that creep through the floorboards and uh you know they haven't really got a lot going for themselves they're they're genuine generally people that are very very low skilled they're very bad at the game so they just like to they just like to sit there and they, they just like to ruin everybody else's day and generally be terrible at everything they play because the only way they can seem to get kills is by sitting in an extract and waiting for you know players who are at their most vulnerable who think they're safe moving to their extract by the way i'll get to you guys later i'm gonna roast the exit campers first then i'm gonna roast the guys that get killed by the exit campers second okay so wait your turn so you know, you just got to think, like, what, what is the exit camper doing? Well, okay, he goes to shoreline, he sits up on the hill, he's waiting above the tunnel extract, right? He's sitting there, you know, he's sitting back in his chair, you know, just drool, you know. He smells, he hasn't showered in weeks, you know, you're sitting there, you're waiting for somebody to stroll up, and hey, maybe on your other screen, I don't know, you're over here playing RuneScape or something. And then, oh, oh, a prize is coming my way. Look, a big juicy PMC. Mmm, for me to put my put my bullets inside of. And it is this it is at this point where the exit campers become you know, they're they're most dangerous, right? So what happens? Their eyes widen. Their heart starts to pump just at the prospect of getting another exit camping kill, all right? And you're there, you know, you're running with your gun, you're like, "Oh shit. I've got three lead X's up my ass and I've got I've got this M4, I've got this 308 MDR, I've got these helmets and stuff. Man, it's such a good raid. You know, you're you're running to the extract and you're just so blinded by the prospects of making 10 mil off this one raid that you forget to check the hill and then you're dead. Now, we've all been here. We've all been there. It sucks. It's very saddening. But there is one thing. There is one thing that you can do to counter them, right? And this is this is one point. I'll get to the rest later. When you see an exit camper, okay? Their reflexes are very slow. You got to remember, they've been sitting here forever. They've been sitting in these spots for so long that they've already developed arthritis. That's how long they've been sitting in these spots for, okay? So their reflexes are slow. Their joints aren't what they used to be. Their trigger fingers aren't what they used to be. So remember that, right? When you lock eyes with an exit camper, just remember... You've got probably at least a two or three second window to take the shot first before they kill you. All right. So just keep that in mind. Now, I have talked enough shit about the exit campers. I would like to now talk shit about the people that get killed by exit campers. Okay. Bet you, di bet you didn't see that one coming. No, you didn't. You didn't see that one coming. Now, to the people that die to exit campers, it's all your fault. It is all your fault. Stop blaming exit campers. Just stop. It is no one else's fault that you died at your extract. It is your fault, Jimmy. Okay? You blindly run into the exit. Woo! I'm going to get out. Look at all my loot. This raid is free. I killed four guys. That means there can't be anybody else at the extract, right? Wrong. 
every time, and I can't stress this enough, every goddamn time you're moving to your extract, use your brain. It is so easy to take an extra 30 seconds out of your raid to just look in the obvious spots. Because guess what? 99.9% .9 of these brainless extract campers all sit in the same place. It's unbelievably predictable where they're going to be sitting, okay? So, for the love of God, take the extra 30 seconds to just look and look and just look in the common spots. Once it's clear, go. Because if I have to read one more Reddit thread or one more reply to one of my tweets or one message in chat or Discord about some guy who's just like, uh, when's Ball State Games gonna start banning exit campers? I get killed by exit campers 10 times a day. Shut up. No one gives a shit. It is your fault for not paying attention moving to your extract. Okay, I'm even sorry that it had to come to this, that I even had to make this video to tell people it's their own faults. Is it a total scumbag thing to do to exit cam people? Of course it is. It is one of the longest running unwritten rules in Tarkov. It is sit for three years, I remember. Everybody would always say if you were an exit camper, you had a tiny dick. It still doesn't change anything. It's only because it's more prevalent now that we need to talk about it. And if we're going to be assigning blame, it can't all be assigned to the exit campers. You got to accept some responsibility for, for not paying attention while you're still in a raid. The only time that you are safe, okay, is when you're back in your stash and you're organizing your loot, okay? Not when you're within a 20 meter magical barrier, you know, next to the extract where you're quote unquote safe. Like, it, that's not a thing. You are in, you are in danger until you're out of the raid. You are not safe. There is, and I'll tell you this, if I am near the extract and I see you and you're moving to the extract, if my bags are full, I'm still gonna kill you. I see a guy, he dies. Doesn't matter if he's next to the extract. If we both roll up at the same time, he doesn't see me. He's moving to the extract. That guy still dies. It's not a case of, oh, I'll let him go. Bullshit. No one else will give you that. Not a single other player in Tarkov would return that favor. If you are moving, it doesn't even matter if you have gear. If you're a hatchling, everyone's still going to gun you down on sight. Just off principle. Anything that moves in this game is dead. Doesn't matter if you're near the extract. Doesn't matter where you are on the map. Okay? Let's just keep that in mind, okay? Now, what we're going to do, we're going to jump into a raid real quick. And I'm just going to give you guys one little quick example. A couple little things you can do. And these can be applied to all maps in Tarkov, okay? We're not going to go over every map because you guys know. You guys know where exit campers sit. You know how they work, okay? So we're going to show you guys one example. And hopefully I make life a little bit easier for you guys, okay? So... Here we are. Now, I felt it only, uh, you know, it seems right to do it on the map that basically is globally recognized for having a spot that a lot of exit campers like to sit in. All right, for those of you that don't know, this is the extract, the tunnel extract on shoreline. That's the extract over there. You can also go down that little path there on the left-hand side to extract. Now, what is the most common place that extract campers like to sit? Right there on that hill next to that bush or up there on the left by the tree. Now, the only thing you need, and this applies to every map like this, is keep your distance and scout it out before you move to the extract. What do you need to do this? You need a scope. You can't necessarily do this with a PK-06. You can maybe see that there's somebody up there, but you might not be able to take shots and kill them. Now, why is that a shame? Well, as I was saying earlier, extra campers, terrible reflex time, you know, ter awful reflexes. And another thing that a lot of people might not know about extra campers is when they're playing and they're sitting at the extract while they have one hand on their mouse, they have their other hand on their tiny, tiny penis. Because if they don't hold their tiny penis, it's actually going to retract all the way back inside their body. So what that stops them from being able to do is move right? So every time you're fighting an exit camper, they are a stationary target. It is free real estate. It is such an easy kill. Now, this is also very, very easily dealt with. If you're coming this way, you see an exit camper up there. 
Well, instead of running along the road, why not run along the beach? You know, you break the sight lines. And if he spots you here, he's going to have to move his mouse. You know, it might not be something he necessarily wants to do. Maybe he's just focusing on one spot. He might not even see you because they have a blind spot for what they're looking at. You know, they don't have the greatest like peripheral vision. It's almost like a horse when they're wearing blinders. Um, but yeah, you can just kind of choose to maybe run this way. Maybe, you know, fire off a few shots, spook him a little bit, you know. Make him jump, make him think, you know, what, what what's he doing? What's he doing? Now that you're a little bit closer, you might be able to see them with your 1x if you don't have a scope. And, you know, you'll be able to take the fight from there. So now, the way that makes most sense in order, like, the best way to clear an extract, right? Say you're coming from this direction. You know, you're coming this way. You've got the bush here for a little bit of cover. All you want to do is just look up here. Just look up here. You know, look along the hill there. See if there's anybody on the way. Maybe move down. Once you've cleared this, make sure the road is clear. There's nobody sitting in these bushes here. There's nobody up in the trees. You know, there's nobody sitting over there in the corner. You know, there's nobody back there just watching the exit with a scope or something. And it's all you have to do. It's so simple. All you got to do, take an extra 30 seconds to clear the extract. Now, one thing I'm going to show you guys. I don't think I can show you it right now because I'm going to extract... Uh, if I try and go down there, or actually, wait, I can show you this anyway, even if it does extract me. You can get all the way back here, by the way. You can get all the way back here. Now, easy solution for this, you throw a grenade. You throw one grenade back here to make sure there's nobody camping this exit back here. Or, as a public service announcement to everybody, don't use this extract until this gets patched. Until the extract zone gets moved all the way back here. Because if this is your extract, you can sit back here without the timer ticking down for some reason. So, public service announcement from Twizzler to all of you guys watching. Don't use this side of the extract. Sit by the ambulance. Use that for cover instead. All right? Ugh. Failing that, throw a grenade. Wait until you hear, Ugh! and then, you know, off you go. So, one last thing you can do, and this is just exhausting it. And I don't need to show you guys this on every map because it applies... This applies to every single extract in the game. If you're talking about factory, bring grenades with you. If you're talking about labs, bring grenades with you for the certain like little dirty spots that people like to sit in. Certain places where gunfire might not help you if you don't want to peek. But like you come up here, there's a ton of angles that you can see people. Like if they're camping up here on this side, you can see them from over there. You can see them from over there. You know, if they're all the way down here. You know, you can see them from a ton of different places. You know, oh, they're sitting up by the tree. You have all this sight line over there, but they're not going to be paying attention to that. They're going to be watching over here. You know, they're going to be paying attention this way. Be watching people running down the road and stuff. You know what I mean? And honestly, exit campers, almost a bit of a blessing in disguise. Because what does this mean? Oh, you've got a stationary target that we know doesn't move. And uh, there's a quest in the game called Shooter Born in Heaven. You know, exit campers, easy shooter born in heaven kills. All exit campers are to me, and all they should be to you guys are extra loot at the end of your raids. Learn to scope out your ex your extracts before you leave the raid, and you will just net yourself an extra couple hundred K off their kits if they're running good gear. Or get yourself some free 100 meter headshots for Shooter Board in Heaven. It's very simple. And for places where you can't see before you go in, like you're going out gate three on factory, the main extract, and you can't see behind that wall, spam through it or throw a grenade in there and see if anybody moves. If something moves, you know there's somebody in there. It's very simple. The same can be applied to customs. When you're coming along the railway where ZB is and all that other kind of stuff, make sure you scope out those bushes. Make sure you scope out the bushes around ZB. Check on top of ZB. Check inside of ZB when you go down those stairs. So many people, I see it all the time, they just go running down the stairs and then boom, there's a guy sitting prone there in the extract. You don't know where they're going to be. You just don't know. So, you know, it, this is very simple stuff. And it is this extra 30 seconds that will increase your survival rate. If you run into exit campers all the time, it's very simple. Bring a scope with you. Watch the common spots they sit in. Take the extra 30 seconds and clear out your extract. It is that goddamn simple, people. Stop glorifying these players. Stop giving them the attention that they so desperately require. And that's it. That's all it's going to be for me. If you guys enjoyed the video, please make sure to leave a like, leave a comment. Let me know what videos you want to see in the future. If you want to check out my streams, twitch.tv slash tweak. You will never find me exit camping. It's Big Pog. Check out my Twitter and Instagram. I'll see you guys in the next video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Peace out, my dudes.